Hey people of St. Bart's, Chris Myers here. Hope you're doing well. It is officially cold enough for the puffer jacket to be out, so I find that to be delightful. Hope you're enjoying this weather, and I hope you're enjoying this Advent season. You know, Advent um, is just such a different thing than when we take Christmas on its own and having this period of preparation, this period where we reflect on what it means to wait and uh, that's one of the great themes of Advent is waiting, but the other great theme of Advent is wakefulness or being awake. And this week, the third Sunday of Advent, we're going to continue talking about John the Baptist, and we're going to hear his preaching. And one way to sum up his preaching would be simply to say, wake up. Um, as Dave talked about last week, that John the Baptist comes as the last of the Old Testament prophets, and he stands, as Dave said, at the frontier of the ages. Um, and he says to the people of Israel that it's time to wake up because one, the one who can get us out of the downward spiral is coming and he's near and we need to wait and be wakeful and uh, aware of his coming. So we're going to talk about John the Baptist some more. We're going to talk about his preaching. And I want to look at um, the phrase that he has in his preaching where he says that the ax is laid to the root of the tree. Um, the word radical comes to mind because the word radical means to be taken to the root of things. And that's really what John the Baptist invites us to do, is when we strip everything away, when everything is shaken away, what lies at the root of things? And it's a wonderful question to ask, especially in Advent, and I think it's a wonderful question to ask in this moment we find ourselves in, uh, deep into a pandemic, deep into a time of unrest. When you go back to the root of everything, what is there? What is under the surface that nourishes everything? Of course, that's actually one of our values is rootedness. So I hope you'll join us this Sunday for the third Sunday of Advent. Um, and I hope that you'll plan to join us for Christmas Eve services on uh, December 24th, 5.30 p.m. right here at Redeemer Bible Church. And the great thing about our Christmas Eve service is that we have a children's pageant. And this year, the children's pageant is going to take on epic proportions uh, because we're going to have 40 to 50 kids participating in the pageant. So it is sure to be an amazing time, an amazing time of celebration um, as we come to the end of the Advent season and move into the season of Christmas. So please make plans to join us 5.30 p.m. Christmas Eve here at RBC. Uh, see you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.